Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter video. And today I want to talk about the future of the series, the future of Monster Hunter. What is next? If you caught the recent developer diary, then you'll know that the upcoming Fatalis update dropping on October 1st is the last major update for Iceborne. Sure, there'll be a few event quests, Arc Tempered Velkana, and other bits and bobs, but for all intents and purposes, this next big update brings the world and Iceborne saga to a close. And sure, on one hand, that's sad, but on the other hand, it's exciting. When one door closes, another one usually opens. And this doesn't just apply to Monster Hunter. When any successful game series releases their latest game and said game comes to a close, attention turns to the next thing. So today I want to discuss that, discuss what the possibilities are, what we may see next, and also throw around some ideas about what I'd personally like to see in a future Monster Hunter title. So as always, if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to let me know in the comments down below, what are you hoping for next? With Iceborne coming to a close, if you could have just one wish granted, what would you want for the next Monster Hunter? But anyway, let's begin. First things first, Monster Hunter is now Capcom's biggest selling IP, with a whopping 15.5 million sales between the base game World and Iceborne, up another half million sales from early February this year as reported in the most recent financial meeting, it's safe to say Monster Hunter is a big deal. Which is amazing to see. When I first got into the series back on PSP in 2007 with Monster Hunter Freedom Second, some 13 years ago, while the series was immensely popular in Japan, in the West it had a pretty niche following. And while that following would grow steadily over the years, it was still, for many, considered a pretty niche title. This was in part due to some people not really wanting to give a portable game the time of day, and even though it did make jumps to home consoles with Nintendo Wii and Wii U, it wasn't until Monster Hunter World that this series really got the exposure it deserved. While the series has been amazing for years, World shone a whole new light on the series that would finally see millions of new players taking on Rathalos for the very first time. It brings a tear of joy to my eye. <laughs> anyway, enough nostalgia, that's basically my long roundabout way of saying that Monster Hunter is big now. It's on the map, and it's fair to say it isn't going anywhere. I mean that in a good way, not like a this is stagnant, it's not going anywhere. I mean like it's a powerhouse, there's no stopping it. I digress. The point I'm making is that with this being Capcom's biggest IP and thus their biggest money maker, businesses need to make money and therefore it's only a matter of time before we get more Monster Hunter. And thus brings me to our discussion. For those of you unfamiliar with the Monster Hunter team structure, there are two teams and while the members that work on said teams have moved around over the years, the underlying point here is that it allows multiple games to be produced in parallel. Games like Monster Hunter Portable 3rd and Generations were developed by a second team, while a lot of the main series titles were handled by the primary team. So that begs the question, what have they been working on? Additionally, in the most recent developer diary, we saw the return of Yuya Tokuda. Tokuda was the director in World, but in Iceborne, Daisuke took over. Tokuda didn't leave the Monster Hunter team, but he didn't appear to be actively involved in Iceborne, so that also begs the question, what has he been working on? Side note, Tokuda is such a legend, I mean the whole Monster Hunter team is a legend, but I had the honour of going out for drinks and karaoke with Tokuda and Ryozo in Japan before World launched and that was incredibly good fun. Anyway, I'm going off track again. What does this all point to? Well, there have been some leaks and rumours going around. Now, as I always say, take these with a giant pinch of salt, because honestly, until Capcom themselves confirm something, then all of this might as well be completely made up. But the rumours do seem to point towards a potential Monster Hunter game announced for Switch. This does, however, align quite nicely with Capcom's own financial meeting earlier this year, in which they discussed their desire to set a new record this current fiscal year by shipping over 28 million units of video games worldwide in all territories. That's over 2 million more than the previous fiscal year, where the company managed to shipped 25.5 million units. Part of their plan for this states they'll lean on their back catalogue of games to achieve this figure. Please bring back Lost Planet. I mean, I know it wasn't hugely popular, but please do it. But there's also the multiple major new titles part. This indicates that Capcom intends to come out strong in the rest of the fiscal year by releasing several brand new games, games that they haven't even announced at the time of writing. Now, obviously that could hint at brand new IP, but it could also hint at new games within their existing catalogue. Now, if you cast your mind back to when the Nintendo Switch first launched, Capcom were one of the companies who actually weren't too sure about the platform initially. They dropped Street Fighter on it, it's kind of like a re-release, but they were testing the waters. They, of course, then went on to port Generations Ultimate, and with the Nintendo Switch doing incredible numbers over the past few years, it's without question a contender platform now. Pair that with the fact that Monster Hunter has a history in the portable space, especially so in Japan, with that being the primary method of play, I think it would be remiss of Capcom to not take full advantage of the Nintendo Switch. Capcom said in the past they have no intention of porting World to Switch, 
which honestly I do think is a smart move. To create a lesser version would just be like saying, here, play the slightly less good version of World on Switch. And I don't think Nintendo would appreciate that either. So it therefore leads to the conclusion that what we see next may be a departure from where we currently are, and we could potentially look to see a Monster Hunter announced for Switch. I personally would really like this, doesn't mean to say I'm trying to get it to move away from where it currently is, but I absolutely love my Nintendo Switch. It's my favourite console, and as someone that grew up playing Monster Hunter on portable systems, I would love to be able to take it with me again on the go. Like, I love World, I've invested thousands of hours into it, but the fact that whenever I go away, I can't take it with me and like play it on the train, that's where some of the greatest hours of monster hunting have been for me like when I was traveling and I would just hunt on the go I do miss those days it would also make more sense because assuming the second team have been working on something alongside Iceborne then short of looking to mobile devices which you know they have done in the past and they could definitely do moving forward especially with mobile devices getting increasingly more powerful the other obvious choice platform is Nintendo Switch does this mean that Monster Hunter is leaving PlayStation Xbox behind hell no these platforms have provided the series with its biggest success but I do think that with the new generation around the corner, the more sensible thing for Capcom to do would be to turn their attention to PS5 and Series X. To launch Monster Hunter 6 or World 2 or whatever you want to call it, Monster Hunter Intergalactic Universe, launching that on PS5 and Xbox Series X would be the sensible play. It would give the main team enough development time to spin up the next installment, while a potential portable title fills the void. That also doesn't mean to say it would exclusively have to be Switch. I mean, who's to say it couldn't span multiple platforms? But I do feel like if they built a game with Switch in mind, then dropping it on PS4 and Xbox One, while, you know, may have broad appeal, would kind of end up looking a little bit worse because it would end up being not as powerful as World and thus would just be like a sequel that has gone backwards. So I feel like it wouldn't go down so well. So I think whatever is next is probably going to be, you know, if we're looking at Switch title, it's probably going to be predominantly on Switch. So, you know, the idea is that we then hop to Switch for a while, play Monster Hunter on there, whilst awaiting a big future announcement that would be, you know, the logical conclusion to the Iceborne Saga, probably a completely new title. I mean, this is typically how Monster Hunter works, right? You have your initial base game, providing you with something that typically runs up to high rank, followed by some kind of G or ultimate expansion, giving you G rank or master rank. And of course, the cycle then goes again. So whatever does, you know, carry on next, I would imagine would be a complete departure from the world of Iceborne, but either way, that would be most logical. Of course, all of this is pure speculation at this point, but assuming that does happen, I would personally love to see the vibrancy of the previous portable games paired with the quality of life changes of World. I think that would be kind of the best of both worlds. I've been with the series a long time, I've played almost all of the games, and while I can still go back and play the older titles, and I enjoy them, I love them, I don't think going backwards will help the series grow. And you know, as a fan of the series, I want to see it grow bigger, I want to see it grow better, I want to see more people get into it. So as much as people may prefer some of the older aspects of the game, I do feel that in order to foster the new audience and please the old, we need to strike a balance. Going back to, say, loading zones like between areas or standing steel string potions, all of which are older mechanics to impose artificial difficulty due to technical limitations or ultimately systems that have have evolved. So if we could see something with say the broad spectrum of content that say Generations or even for Ultimate offered with that level of personality, vibrancy, breadth of monsters, I'm talking more than just wyverns and like fang beasts, I want to see you know carapacians, I want to see like crabs, I want to see like all these different kind of monsters, spiders, everything and you take the charm of the kind of previous games with the current quality of life elements of World and Iceborne and that, that would be something to behold. As for Xbox Series X and PS5, when a new generation launches, it usually takes a couple of years for developers to really get a handle on the platform. Of course, we'll have launch titles, but you typically look into like the lifespan of consoles and you see that it does take a few years for people to really be able to like harness that power. And with that in mind, if you look at the typical development cycle, I feel like it would be 2022 at the absolute earliest that we'd hear or see anything about, you know, any kind of Monster Hunter 6 or whatever is next for the series. I fully expect them to make it and take full advantage of next gen hardware because again, you know, Monster Hunter is huge. To continue the series, to continue to kind of build on that, it is just something that Capcom would 100% do. It just makes business sense. But I do think we're going to have a few years to wait. So that's basically where I think we're at. With Iceborne coming to a close, I think the chances of kind of looking towards, say, Nintendo Switch for some kind of portable title could be the next sensible play for Capcom with a bigger next generation title in like the further future. Also, keep in mind, there have been some rumors around a newer Nintendo Switch, like a Nintendo Switch Pro. We had those rumors a little while 
while ago and then it ended up being the Nintendo Switch Lite. But those rumors have since done the rounds again. And you know, the recent kind of suggestions are that the Nintendo Switch Pro may actually be able to output at 4K. And one of the kind of rumors for that obviously coincide with Breath of the Wild 2 saying that, you know, they would launch it on the new Pro platform, allowing them to do even more with that world. And if you then extend that to something like Monster Hunter, taking that game and maybe allowing Capcom to harness the power of the Nintendo Switch Pro on top, could allow them to do more than they could have, say, previously done with the game. So there's a lot of potential there. But either way, basically, I just want more Monster Hunter. I don't care where it is. I play games no matter what platform. I just want to hunt monsters. I want to make armor. And I want to do it all over again. That's some of my most fun times. Like, I love doing the endgame stuff. But honestly, I also just love the beginning part of Monster Hunter, where you don't know the monsters, you don't know the armor, and every time you go and hunt something, you run back, you hunt it, you find out what the armor and weapons looks like. All that excitement. I want to do that again. So yeah, Capcom, whatever it is, give it to me, please soon, because uh, your boy wants to do some more hunting. But anyway, that's my little mind dump on where we're currently at. Regardless of what we get next, I'm incredibly excited about the future of the series. What about you guys? As I said at the beginning, what one thing would you like to see in future titles? Let me know down below, and of course, keep it locked for plenty more Monster Hunter content. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.